With tight family harmonies, timeless songs, and a passion for worship, the Neelands have captivating audiences for four decades. Gospel roots were laid for the Neelands in 1955 when founding member Rex Neeland left home in Asheville, North Carolina and moved to Atlanta, Georgia to sing full-time with the renowned Homeland Harmony Quartet led by GMA Hall of Fame member Connor Hall. In 1957, Rex joined the Lefevers, one of the legendary family groups of Southern gospel music. The Lefevers were known as the South's most versatile singers and musicians, and their weekly TV show, The Gospel Music Caravan, was watched by thousands all across the southeastern United States. As members of the Lefever family retired, Rex took on more responsibility and eventually bought their interests in the group. Rex's daughter, Kelly, joined the Lefevers full-time in 1977. That same year, Ava Mae Lefevre retired from the group, and Rex changed the group's name to the Rex Neeland Singers. The Rex Neeland Singers would hit the ground running, their first radio single, The Sun's Coming Up in the Morning, featuring Kelly Nealon, would stay on the radio charts for 36 months and be a finalist for Song of the Year at the 1978 Dove Awards. One year later, Come Morning from the group's second album was their first number one hit and would be named the Song of the Decade by Singing News Magazine. Rex had an ear for songs and an eye for talent. Since 1977, the group has recorded more than 70 songs which have landed on national radio airplay charts. Past members have included Janet Paschal, Rodney Swain, Jerry Thompson, Karen Peck, Charlotte Ritchie, Jeff Stice, Stan Whitmire, Robbie Willis, Aubrey Stevens, and Rex's son, Todd Nealon. Over his career, Rex Neelan acquired and built one of the largest holdings of gospel music, which included not only songs made popular by the Lefevers and the Neelans, but hundreds of titles written by legendary writers and performed and recorded by iconic gospel music groups and artists. The Neelans have been credited with creating what is called progressive southern gospel. In 1983, the group recorded Kelly Nealon's signature song, Oh for a Thousand Tongues, arranged by Larry Goss. This song crossed over to Inspirational Gospel Radio and was the 1984 Song of the Year at the Singing News Fan Awards. That song became the first of many songs and albums produced and arranged for the group by the incomparable Larry Goss. Together, they created a trademark sound of large, orchestrated ballads and up-tempo songs integrating old hymns and standards. Combined with the group's impeccable vocal stylings, this progressive style and sound influenced a generation of gospel music groups and set a standard by which mixed groups and family groups will forever be measured. The Neelands Awards and Accolades include three Grammy nominations, six Dub Awards, 14 Singing News Fan Awards, a New York International Film Festival, Festival Award for their 1987 concept video, Famine in Their Land, and a People's Choice Silver Telly Award for the concept video, Excuse Me, Are You Jesus? The Neelands are the only family in gospel music to have three generations of family receive individual Singing News Fan Awards. Today, the Neelands are frequently featured on the best-selling Gaither Homecoming recordings and videos, and have performed on the Grand Ole Opry, among other historic venues. However, it's their heart for people and uncanny gift to communicate God's love that has helped to expand the audience for gospel music around the world. Standing on the legacy of founder and patriarch Rex Nealon, Kelly, Jason, Amber, and Autumn continue the family tradition with unparalleled vocal excellence, incomparable harmonies, and stunning live performances. The group has recorded more than 35 albums with chart-topping Southern Gospel classics like We Shall Wear a Robe and Crown, Come Morning, and Oh for a Thousand Tongues. With a love for the old and a vision for the new, the Neelands embrace their traditional roots all the while bridging the generational gap by pushing musical boundaries. Together as the Neelands, Jason, Kelly, Amber, and Autumn are a family devoted to God, devoted to each other, and ministering the gospel of Christ through music and the word. Welcome to the stage, Selah and Travis Cottrell.
and Michael English. God's children too long have been burning. They are Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Bill Gaither. I know the Bible says that at the sound of a trumpet, the Lord is going to descend. But just in case the trumpet player does not show up, I would not be surprised to hear a quartet announce the second coming. Rex has always been known for, for the kind of characters that he had, good character, integrity, and he personified, he personified that in everything that he did. And then for the existing members, they make me very, very proud that with this many nights, Amber, Autumn, Jason, and Kelly, they still do a cappella harmony. And your daddy has to be looking down tonight, smiling on you, carrying on this beautiful tradition. 
and the Neelands have come up. We pick them up now. So to make this official, on behalf of the Board of Directors of the Gospel Music Association Foundation, it is my honor to induct you into the GMA Gospel Music Hall of Fame. My father loved this music about Jesus. It was always his heart's desire to have his own group and to have his family. And, uh, but you know what? I, um, I wanted to thank all of the people that had been with us, um, not just the singers, because just as Bill was talking about, it really takes all of us together. And so thank you so much. Gospel music.